Bob. Welcome back to Squawk Box. Today, the Senate Budget Committee will begin a markup of a long-term budget bill. Committee Chairman Ken Conrad uh, plans on using the Simpson-Bowles blueprint for deficit reduction. Joining us now, first on CNBC, the Senator from North Dakota, Ken Conrad. Um, your ears might have been burning on, on Monday, Senator. David Walker was speaking very highly of you that at least, I mean, you're actually trying to get it done. And I said, well, he's not up for re-election, so he's actually doing the right thing. And that, I mean, I hate to, to be so cynical, but um, I don't know, it just seems like maybe there's some truth to that in this current environment. Uh, look, it's a challenge. And what really has to be done, I think everybody knows, is we've got to come together around a comprehensive 10-year plan. You know, we have a budget for this year and next that was provided for in the Budget Control Act passed last year. What we don't have is a long-term plan to get us back on track. And that's why I decided to offer the Bowles-Simpson approach, which is the only plan, 10-year plan, uh, that has enjoyed bipartisan support. And at the end of the day, if we don't join together, nothing is going to get done. And here we are, borrowing 40 cents of every dollar we spend. Uh, at the end of this year, all the tax cuts are going to expire. At the end of this year, we're facing a sequester, an additional $1.2 trillion of cuts, half of it in defense. Uh, in addition to the almost $500 billion of cuts in defense that were part of the Budget Control Act. So it seems to me this may be the opportunity, just like Bowles Simpson was scheduled to be voted on after the 2010 election, I think we've got to take this opportunity to see if we can't get something done for the country that very much needs to be done. Yeah, we had uh, Congressman Van Hollen on earlier, and uh, we, we had a long discussion about the Buffett rule and, and the amount of, of, uh, of, of energy and time being spent. And also, um, we had Eric Cantor on. He's got a, uh, uh, something that he's going to be voted on in the House today that he knows won't get through the Senate. And, and my point was, both sides, here they are. And even, I mean, the administration, this, this fairness thing and the, and the Buffett thing, Senator, it's $47 billion over 10 years. As a Democrat, have you... Are you okay with that? Are you on board with that tactic, or is it pure electioneering? Look, uh, what I'm on board with is something I was part of, which was the Simpson-Bowles approach. We had 18 commissioners. 11 of the 18 agreed, five Democrats, five Republicans, one is independent. A, is that a no? You're not on board with, the, with uh, spending all this time on, you know, uh, going, from floor, going from swing state to swing state uh, on the stump for the Buffett rule? Look, uh, to me, it's entirely reasonable that we've got to ask those who are more successful to do somewhat more. I Look, I, I pay a tax rate that's much higher than people making a whole lot more money than I am. So uh, that is a legitimate concern. But what we really need, and I think what almost any objective observer would say, is we need an overall 10-year plan to get this country back on track. We've got to find a way to do it together. Uh, Bull Simpson, look, it's not perfect. It's going to have to be adjusted because changes have occurred since it was passed. Um, at least 11 of the 18 commissioners agreed to it. Um, well, but uh, we've what, got what, to take this on. What kind of reception are you getting from the administration? Are they cheering you on? We're behind you 100 percent, Senator Conrad. You're doing the right thing. What can we do to help you? This is great. I, 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 have you gotten a single phone call? I talked to the uh, head of the Office of Management and Budget yesterday to advise him what I was going to do. Um, you know, I don't speak for others. I only speak for myself. I learned long ago, Joe, in this town, uh, the only person I can speak for credibly is myself. I mean, yeah, David Walker singled you out as someone that, that I, we're in an election. I mean, I, I'm just writing it off to that. But, if, God, if we really did have great leadership right now, um, they'd be on with you a hundred percent with with trying to i mean the budget got zero votes it was 414 to zero and it, it didn't go much further the other you know the republican budget's not no one's doing anything we're not getting anywhere but joe i don't think that should be a surprise to any of us you know when we fashioned simpson bowls it was scheduled to be voted on after the 2010 election for a reason because it gave us the maximum chance of actually getting a result I, I think, look, we are in election season. Neither side is going to get out of its fixed position until after the election. So my own belief is we have got to prepare for the moment when we really do have a chance. That moment will come right after the election. So right now, we need to be doing the homework to get ready.
you know, Senator, I agree with you, but it seems like we're always in an election season. As soon as the next election's done, then we'll be in the 2014 election cycle. And, and I guess the, the biggest question is, we know we're facing this fiscal cliff that comes up at the end of this year, but what are the odds you think that this really gets pushed and this is an opportunity you can use versus just another kicking the can down the road? We're going to get an extension for two months and we'll see what happens. I know the honest answer is I don't know. What I do know is that our best shot is coming at the end of this year, and we've got to get ready for it. Uh, those of us who served on the Fiscal Commission, those of us who served in the Group of Six, I think know how incredibly time-consuming it is to put together a serious 10-year plan. If we don't do the homework now, we won't be able to seize the opportunity, if it comes, at the end of this year. Okay. Senator, um, Godspeed. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate it. Um, Good hope to, to see, see you again. Keep us updated on uh, on your efforts. And if you get, you know, like a single colleague saying uh, that they're happy with what you're doing, let us know. That would be. I have had I, I have had dozens of colleagues, dozens of them, call me and say, "Hey, just this is what we've got to do." Just don't tell Democrats anyone. I called. Just don't tell anyone I called yeah. you. Just yeah. Don't but, mention don't, my name. But don't tell anybody till after the election. I told you. <laughs> oh. All right, Senator, we do appreciate it. Thank you.